Picture this, a tiny beach. We're cooking up wild weather swings and tossing in bizarre snacks. Can hermit crabs survive this madness? Will they thrive in our mini world? It starts with a fish tank. Sponges split it into two zones. One side's got clay for ground. The earth's humble foundation. Then we sprinkle on some sand. Hermit crabs love a good climb. So we dot the beach with rocks, driftwood. It's their hideout and playground in one. Add some beachy plants. Seawater floods the shore. Naturally, fresh water pools in sandy pits. Shells and coral for extra flair. Uma Beach is born. You, the mini god of this world. Time to summon a hermit crab. Whoops, wrong spell. My bad. Let's try again. Here's the real hermit crab star. Meet Hammer, sporting a pointy shell. Hammer's our beach's first VIP. He's stoked to explore his new turf. This beach, Hammer's calling it home. It's his personal paradise now. After some wandering, Hammer picks a driftwood nook to chill. You wave your hand, a green plant appears for Hammer. But Hammer, totally unimpressed. Day 7 rolls around. Hammer is still giving zero vibes. God mode you is getting worried. Then it hits you revelation time. Hermit crabs are social butterflies. Who knew? Loneliness makes them act all weird. Enter Blackie, hermit crab number 2. Blackie lands with a face plan. Classic entrance, buddy. And like Hammer's chill vibe, Blackie hits the ground running. He's scaling plants like a pro, surveying his kingdom from above. But his hefty shell, plant crusher, one plant down. On to the next. Blackie's on a mission, ignoring Hammer. Hammer's still in his funk. No reaction to Blackie's antics. Time for backup, enter Big Yellow. Big Yellow emerges from the sea, rocking claws like giant scissors, sharp enough to snip anything. Big Yellow skips the beach scene. He's off exploring the inland depths. Spots Hammer in his corner, but Hammer's not feeling social yet. Ten days later, Blackie and Yellow meet. They're plotting something big. Maybe a plan to cheer up Hammer. But Yellow's acting weird now too. He's at the beach's edge, digging a massive hole. This bit's getting seriously deep. Is Yellow building a nest? Or plotting to bury Hammer? No, he's off to the sea. What's he up to now? Just needed a quick bath. Work hard, clean hard. While Yellow's splashing, Blackie sneaks into his fresh dug hole. But it's way too big for him. Not a great fit, Blackie. Ten days pass on the beach. Hammer finally stirs from his slump. You start tossing in food options. Watermelon, they're not impressed. Peanuts, nope. Lunch meat, onions, grapes, total snub. Fifteen days of food experiments later. You even try a dragon flea. A bumblebee, still no takers. These crabs are picky eaters. Day 20, the freshwater pits dry up. Hammer crawls back from the sea. He's staking claim to his turf. Sensing a shift in the air. Thunder rumbles, skies flash. A massive storm hits. Crabs scramble to high branches. Not to get zapped, mind you. Higher spots mean better oxygen. Blackie hides in Yellow's cave. They all race to the treetops. Rain's their kind of party. Storm clears, air's crisp, the beach feels brand new. But Yellow's cave, flooded out. His hard work's washed away. Day 25, you toss in fish. Next day, it's nibble, fish bits in the corner. Finally, something they'll eat. Yellow's shell's looking snug. You offer a shiny new one. Yellow's like, no, I'm good. Days later, experiment's done. This tiny world goes quiet, like nothing ever happened. Where's the epic survival drama? Not even a shell-stealing fight. Then you glance at their world. Your few days, their lifetime. Now the big question hits. Fry them up with some spice, or set them free on a real beach. Hammer's been at it 30 years. Let's send them home to new shells. Many called where weird meets smart. 